everyone. I'm Claire Rosman, certified emotionally focused therapist, supervisor and trainer in training and co-director of the Australian Centre for Emotionally Focused Therapy, which we call EFT, with Dr. Jennifer Fitzgerald. Today, I'm going to be talking with you about the EFT Tango, which is a fabulous five move set of interventions for using within the EFT model. I love the Tango because it gives us a consistent system of interventions to work with all through the EFT model. And it's a bit easier to follow in session in the moment when you can so easily get muddled or overwhelmed thinking about what step and stage you're in and then trying to figure out what you should be doing with your clients or where you should be placing your focus. Firstly, I want to say that it's so very normal to feel all at sea with learning the steps and stages, let alone now hearing that there are another five parts to learn in the tango. But don't worry, we will go over the moves of the tango and hopefully they'll start to feel more familiar and you will see how they can fit right in with the model and actually make it easier to maintain your balance as you work within it. So to recap, the EFT model has three stages with nine steps. And I like to think about the EFT Tango in this way. If the steps and stages represent the meta moves of the model or the overarching map, then the EFT Tango represents the within moves of each session. The Tango provides the fine detail of what to do in every EFT session. It helps us to orientate and to know where to place our attention. And this is really comforting. <laughs> The tango guides the therapist as they move through the steps and stages of the EFT model. It's as though we tango our way through the steps and stages. If you stick with the tango, you know you're doing EFT and that it will help your individual couples and family clients move through the model. The tango offers the therapist a way of working with emotion and then using the power of attachment to create change. That's pretty exciting. We know that EFT trusts emotion and prioritizes it as a source of powerful change. And we want to help people to tune into their emotions and use them as a source of wisdom to give direction in their lives. But EFT not only prioritizes emotion, it also prioritizes attachment and bonding with key others as a vital part of our makeup and well-being. The great thing about the EFT Tango is that it helps us to explore and process emotion and make use of its rich meaning, but then it helps us to make all that wonderful information relational by helping partners to risk sharing their inner world and most vulnerable emotions with a trusted other. This harnesses both the power of emotion and the power of attachment. So now let's look at this wonderful EFT Tango step by step, starting with move one, mirroring present process. In this move, the therapist offers an attuned, simple description of the present process. This might be the within process of what's happening within the individual or the between process of what's happening between two people. This means that the therapist has to, in a collaborative way, track and name what's happening right now in an evocative, curious, normalizing way that is infused with safety signals of acceptance and non-judgment. Like we're going on a journey to discover what happens and how you get stuck. Here's a wonderful Sue quote that relates to move one of the EFT Tango. We are process consultants standing with our clients as they touch and organize their experience, finding fragmented, denied and avoided elements in that experience. I love that. Now let's move on to move two of the EFT Tango. This is called Affect Assembly and Deepening. This move is all about going into the emotional landscape and exploring these rarely visited or expressed places. We assemble emotion by focusing on the core elements of the inner experience within one person or one partner in a couple or a family to discover it piece by piece and unfold it to uncover its core elements. This makes it known, less frightening and much more familiar and that helps people to maintain their sense of emotional balance with it. We deepen emotion by staying in these rarely visited places and getting to know them. 
just going to these places stretches the window of tolerance for how it feels. Then finding the words helps clarify the experience and makes it granular, coherent and owned. This then makes it easier to stay there and to find your way back there and to use what you find there to inform your choices in life. In move three of the EFT Tango, we choreograph engaged encounters. This is where we encourage our client to share a piece of this newly assembled and deepened emotion with the therapist or a part of the self in individual EFT or with a trusted other in couples or family EFT. This makes the inner experience more concrete and real and owned. And this is because the act of sharing itself allows for more engagement with the experience and for more integration of its nature and meaning. And by making it relational, we help co-regulation to occur. We give an opportunity for bonding. This is a new level of communication that pulls for a new way of responding from the listening partner and sets up new interactional patterns. Excitingly, these new interactions can revise old models of how we think others will or won't respond to us and our worthiness of being responded to and can create corrective emotional experiences. In move four of the tango, we process the encounter we do this by exploring what it was like sharing this emotional experience in such an engaged way for the sharing partner. And we explore how the responses of the other were heard and integrated for the listening partner. We explore and validate any blocks that come up in sharing or in receiving, and we link these to past experiences and negative interactional cycles. And in the final move of the EFT Tango, we integrate and validate all this amazingly brave and difficult work. To do this, we reflect the whole process of the previous four moves from the meta perspective of look what you did. We highlight the key significant moments and responses, using them to validate each client's strength and courage. The key message is that you can change the way you experience your emotions, you make sense, you can share your inner world in new ways that pull for new responses from your partner or the important people in your life. And these new ways of sharing and responding change your cycle of interaction and are the building blocks to secure attachment. Reflecting like this ties a bow on their piece of work, making it more known and familiar so that they can find their way back to it again and again. I just love that this move brings a sense of coherence and order to something that can feel really chaotic and frightening and that it instills a sense of accomplishment and positivity. So I hope that the five moves of the EFT Tango are looking a bit clearer to you and that you can see the value in each discrete piece. This really is a foundational set of interventions that gives us a safe place to return to again and again. It orientates the therapist in where to place their focus, safe in the knowledge that they're on track in accessing emotion and working with it to shift stuck patterns between partners and using newly processed and deepened emotion to shape new attachment experiences. If you'd like to know more about the EFT Tango and would like to see it unfolding in a session with a couple, I have a webinar on this topic available at our website, which is www aceft.com.au if you'd like to see more. Thanks for watching and see you next time.